The, the biggest thing I see there, uh, I mentioned before, is the hip flexors almost always are involved. Because even if they weren't part of the initial problem, um, they, they're kind of a guarding reactive muscle. And it's amazing how much pain can be resolved just by getting those to calm down with the right treatment. Getting, not just with stretches, but you actually kind of go through the stomach and, and work on those. Um, but I'd say probably back strain due to core weakness and overload of the hip flexors would be the most. Um, definitely plenty of joint stuff too, especially as people get older. Um, well, I use manual therapy stuff to, to release those. Um, and then I teach them how to stretch them. Uh, and then usually uh, there'll be some joint mobilization involved too, because usually if there's a problem with the hip flexors, quite often there's, there's an issue at, the, at some level of the joint. You kind of test each individual level and, and mobilize that joint and uh, make sure they're just good and strong in the abs, you know, long term so that the, the hip flexors aren't doing too much work.